what we do here is go back, 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 back. I think that looks okay. Right, let's uh, minimise that. Right, good afternoon. It is good afternoon, isn't it? Yeah, sorry, a little bit late, running late as per usual, but what else would you expect from uh, me? Well, yeah, timekeeping has never been my strong point. My, uh, my family would probably uh, attain to that. So hopefully you can all hear me, and uh, for those of you that have joined us in the live stream, thank you very much for joining us. It's a, a very damp and miserable day here in the UK, so hopefully this is going to uh, cheer you up a little bit. Although I can't see how it can, because this is pretty much the most boring subject on the planet. But what the heck, we're going to do it anyway. Now for those of you that are tuning in and we're expecting the normal kind of 9pm live stream, don't worry. That is still going to go ahead, we'll be doing another stream later on this evening. But this is a video which I thought, well, truthfully, I really can't be arsed to edit it, because it's uh, quite a long-winded process. So I figured I'll do it live so you guys can see exactly how this works from start to finish, hopefully, fingers crossed. So say a quick hello to those of you in the chat. So we've got the British Noob, Kev, Clicktech UK, Thor Odinson. Uh, hopefully that's the real one, that'd be great. Who else we've got? Uh, Kaf's in the chat as well. So as we're going through this, I'm gonna do an unboxing. This is the Heimvision HM241. This is a home security kit. But really, I think per possibly is more aimed at maybe small businesses or people with garages, that kind of stuff. This is predominantly a exterior kit, although the cameras can be used on the interior, but really the cameras do look a little bit kind of industrial for inside the home use. If you want a more of a home system, then Home Vision actually do more kind of home orientated ones, which I've reviewed previously, which uh, if you're watching this in the kind of uh, the after version, not the live version, after version, is that a thing? You can click on the link up here and we'll put some links into their home equipment or dedicated home equipment. So like I said, this is a more designed for exterior stuff, which I'll show you why in a minute when we do the unboxing. So then, this is gonna be a nightmare, I can see it happening. What could possibly go wrong setting up a CCTV system live on camera? Yeah, something's gonna go wrong. I can feel it in my water. Anyway, so, First things first, this is the Heimvision HD NVR kit, HM241. Now you can see uh, the prices, etc. If you click on the link in the video description, there's some Amazon affiliate links. And obviously they are affiliate links, so we do get a little bit of a kickback if you make a purchase. And that doesn't necessarily mean just this item. So if there's something else you wanna buy on Amazon and it's on the Black Friday deals and that kind of stuff, if you use our links from the description below, it doesn't matter what you go to, but every subsequent thing you visit or purchase, we get a small kickback. So do bear that in mind if you wanna help out the channel, that'd be much appreciated. And actually it gives Kath a bit of a rush because she comes in on the morning, opens up all the tabs, look at what people have been buying. And says, oh, we've sold these, oh, we sold that. So hopefully we'll see a few of these coming through on the checkout soon. Um, actually another uh, YouTuber who's in the room at the moment, Kev from Clicked at UK. Kev's actually done a review on this already. So if you wanna check out his, uh, right click on his user profile in the chat and you can check out his channel and see what Kev thought of it. And actually, some of the things which we'll be discussing are things which were brought up from that video, so uh, thanks to Kev for that. Right then, so, where do we start? So let's go through actually the kit itself. So, as you can see on the box, this is a four camera setup. It comes with its own DVR box, and the cameras themselves, this is actually an eight channel module, so you can use up to eight video channels on this. Four cameras included, if you want links as well for the additional cameras, the additional cameras are about £40 a piece. Um, again, I'll put links in the video description after so you can check those out for yourself. But this whole kit as it stands with the four cameras and the plain DVR box. Now what I mean by plain is this doesn't come with an included hard disk drive. So you need to provide one of those yourself if you actually want to go back and rewind footage, uh, check old footage, all that kind of stuff. But if you want to, you can just use it as a live medium 
straight out of the box, these cameras will work with the uh, DVR box and you can see the live footage. So again, if you're using this in say some sort of retail environment, like a shop, you could have one face in the door, one on your back door, oh dear, uh, and various places around the shop. So you can put them around so you can keep an eye on things going on. So for small shop owners or for some of the garage or some kind of premises, this is gonna be brilliant. Now you can actually access the content remotely on a mobile phone, Android or uh, Apple. So if you wanted to use this just so you can keep an eye on things, like say you've got a remote garage somewhere and there's an internet connection there, you can use it for that particular thing. So on the front, uh, HD 960p, so the cameras are 1.3 megapixels, so that's 1280 by 960. Not full HD, but sort of three quarters HD, I think you'd probably call it. Uh, Wi-Fi connection, so all of these cameras, actually, as you can see, there's an antenna on them, so they work wirelessly. You can actually use a wired connection, so if there's a particular place in your home or business where you can't quite get a strong enough signal, you can use a wired connection as well, so you've got a combination of that. Also, the cameras actually feature a kind of a signal bouncing. So say, for instance, you've got the four cameras and there's like a long line of distance between the cameras and the DVR box. These will actually share the connection. So it's a separate connection. It doesn't work through your existing internet mesh as such. Uh, they've got their own mesh built in. So if you're worried about the, um, the cameras taking up all your bandwidth on your network, don't worry. The Wi-Fi, which is included in this box, is completely separate and isn't visible. So these all link to themselves and it's just a separate system so you don't have to worry about extra congestion on your Wi-Fi network. The network itself is a kind of a mixture of 2.4G, it's not 5G, so uh, don't be expecting that. But then 5G would probably not be a good idea for this sort of camera because 5G doesn't have the kind of penetration that you need to get through walls and surfaces and that kind of stuff. So 2.4G for this is absolutely perfect. Uh, camera settings or camera options, you've got motion detection, so you can set up detection areas. So if again, that's like a garage or something, you don't want to be notified of some everyone walking through, but you can set it for certain times. So if there's motion in a certain area, then the camera will get triggered and it'll record, or you can set it to record all the time, all those kinds of things. Uh, you've got day and night vision. So in the daytime, crystal clear, perfect vision. Nighttime, obviously you get that kind of black and white uh, night vision setting, but you can see things quite clearly, which hopefully we'll be demonstrating a little bit later. And looking how dark it is outside at the moment, we're probably gonna get a good chance to do that. Now talking of the outside, there's IP66 weatherproof or waterproof, so dust and water are resistant. Obviously, they're not gonna be submergible. Don't put them in a bath or something crazy like a fish tank or something. That's not a great idea. Definitely don't do that. But for general purposes, outside, they're gonna resist the rain, the snow, freezing conditions, all that kind of stuff. Also, you get email alerts, so you can set up the system with an email address, so if there is an activation on the camera, you can go through and you'll get an email on your phone. Uh, you can set up all sorts of alerts like that. Obviously, you've got video playback if you decide to put hard drive in, remote viewing. No, it's not remote viewing like they used to do in the 60s and 70s, where Americans used to find out where the Russians were hiding stuff. This is remote viewing on your phone, so. Again, using the app, you can see what's going on, check out stuff remotely when you're not actually in front of the unit. And also it says easy setup. Now I think we'll be the judge of that when we get this out of the box and take a look. So I think that's pretty much it from the descriptions. So we'll go through what you actually get in the kit. So in the kit, what's in the box, you get an eight channel 1080p wireless network video recorder. You get four 960p cameras with five dB gain antennas. You get four times 10 foot power adapters for the cameras. Now the cameras themselves are powered. That Although they're wireless, they still do need power to actually keep them running. So do bear that in mind, wherever you're gonna mount them, you will need a adjacent power supply. Now the uh, 10 foot cable obviously isn't a great deal. If you think that some of these cameras are gonna be mounted sort of six to eight foot high on the wall to get a good sort of down motion of what's going on, you may need to purchase extra extensions for the power supplies. Now you can get those, I've seen them on Amazon. They're just a standard kind of barrel connection, male to female, so you can extend the power uh, by quite a distance if you need to. You also get four screws for mounting the hard drive. Uh, the hard drive's not included. And you get four screw packages for the bullet cameras to attach them to a wall or surface, or whatever you want to do. You get a 3.3 foot network cable. You get a USB mouse, which uh, to be completely honest and frank with you, 
is absolutely rubbish. I'm saying that, I've got it here. It's, uh, it's the cheapest possible mouse I've ever seen, but it kind of gets the job done. It doesn't track particularly well on this surface. So I have actually taken this out of the box and tried it just to make sure it does actually power up. And the, yeah, the mouse is pretty awful, but hopefully you probably won't need to use that very much apart from maybe the main setup or to check out some of the footage. Uh, you also get a user manual, which is, uh, yeah, pretty handy. Uh, anything else? No, I think that is pretty much it. So, you all with me so far? You understand what this is all about? Have I put you all to sleep yet? <laughs> Let's have a look. Uh, da -da. So, you've got some more people in today. So, a letter's in the house. A letter, this is probably not going to be the sort of thing for you because you've got your own security, your, your dogs, which I imagine will probably do a, a very similar. What's that? Oh, Kafta said that's the reason you're here, was it? To keep an eye on your dogs? No. Oh, what? The dogs were crap. Oh, the dogs were Okay. <laughs> I do apologise for that. So, uh, yeah, let's go through what we get in the box. So, obviously, said we get the mouse. Now, the mouse comes with a ridiculously short cable. So, do bear that in mind. You plug the USB into the back, so you, you need a little bit of room. I suppose, ideally, because it's so small, we could just put it on top of the unit and just use it. Again, you shouldn't really have to use this a great deal apart from the initial setup. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Let's take it out of the box. So, we get the unit itself. So this is the uh, HD DVR from Home Vision. Looks actually quite nice. And if you've ever used one of these before, or you've seen one before, you kind of, I imagine you get the general idea. This is the kind of the control unit or the, the brains of the organization. Uh, it's also on the back, it's got the two antenna. And they look to be quite quite decent quality. They're not gonna fall off anytime soon. And on the back, you've got your connectivity. So you've got a VGA output, you've got an HDMI output, you've got your WAN input, so that's your LAN cable. So this needs to be connected physically to uh, a hard wire from your uh, router or whatever it may be. It doesn't connect to your router via the wireless. The wireless, again, as I said earlier, is completely and solely for the purpose of communicating with the cameras. It doesn't work with your existing home Wi-Fi system at all. Think of them as two completely separate entities. Which actually, from a security point of view, actually makes a great deal of sense, because if somebody actually hacked into your wireless network, they won't be able to see your cameras. So actually, that's a, that's a pretty good thing. So next to the WAN input, we've also got our USB input for the mouse, as we said. I'm not sure if you can use a keyboard on there as well to make it easier for typing in things like usernames and passwords and that sort of thing. Maybe we'll give that a go. Uh, if not, I'll do an update and leave it in the description below so you can work it out for yourselves. And next to that is your barrel jack for the power. And that is pretty much it. So that's the unit itself. So we'll plug that in and get that set up soon. Now this here is the power supplies, so in here, you've got five power supplies. You've got one for the main unit itself and four for each of the four cameras. So that's... Some reviewers actually said that these had what they were stamped on them, so camera or whatever, but I can't actually see it on there. Maybe it does say it. No, it doesn't actually say on there. So anyway, you get four of those, and then you get a separate power brick which is for the unit itself, the control box that is. Now this actually is painfully short. So that is about a meter long, which isn't great. So that is one of the things which actually, I did do a kind of trial run of this to see where I could actually set it up in the home. Now, ideally for me, the unit, the HDR unit needs to be alongside or adjacent to where my router is. Now where it was, it wasn't ideal and I did struggle actually getting the cables to fit. So again, you may want to invest in some additional extension leads or maybe put it somewhere else entirely. Once it's set up, uh, set up in front of a TV and all that kind of stuff and then maybe disconnect it, save all your settings, then disconnect it and then stick it somewhere else, maybe in an attic space or in a cupboard under the stairs, that kind of thing. But again, cables not particularly long. The mouse cable is not particularly long and the supplied ethernet cable isn't particularly long either. So we'll have a look at that one next. So this is your kind of instructions and your fitting kit and all that kind of stuff. So again, you get a relatively small one meter cable. Again, if you're needing to plug this into a router, this is gonna mean that it's gonna be very close to the router. 
So if you've got one of those kind of entertainment, home entertainment racks where you've got your switches, your routers, your Wi-Fi, and all that kind of stuff, then maybe that can work. But if not, you can pick up these cables or longer cables pretty easily. Or if you fancy making them up yourself, then you can go on Amazon, buy yourself a reel of cable, uh, get a crimper and all that sort of stuff, and you can do it yourself. So also in here, we get a home vision, happy or un unhappy. So this is basically all their contact details. So if you have any issues or you wanna leave any feedback or comments, then you can do that on our website. This is the installation guide, which actually there isn't a lot in here. I did have a quick scan through. Uh, mostly it goes about how to actually set up the DVR. So how to set up things like video recordings, scheduled recordings, all those kinds of things. It actually is a really, really powerful system, but at the same time, it's super simple as well. So if you're not really kind of into all the kind of gadgetry and stuff and you just want to set it up, plug it in, it is essentially plug and play. It will just record all the time on all the four cameras or however many cameras you've got connected. But if you want to go into it a little bit deeper, deeper, a little bit deeper and set up zones, schedule times, all that kind of stuff. Again, some people, if they've got this, maybe pointing over their back garden or in certain areas of the house, you don't necessarily want to record in 24 seven for personal privacy. But if you want to set it so that, say for instance, you work a normal nine till five, you want to set recording to start at nine o'clock, finish at five o'clock whilst you're away from the house, then you can do all that kind of stuff, which uh, again, pretty flexible if you want it to be or super simple if you can't be bothered. Uh, also, we get a QC certification. So someone's passed it and tested it. You get some wiring glands. So if you're running cables outside the house, then you can use those to stop moisture and stuff getting in from any holes you drilled. In this section, you've got an Allen key. Now the Allen key is for adjusting the camera. So once you've got it set up, you can use a grub screw in the side of it to keep it fixed in the position. There's some mounting screws there also, and you get four screws for attaching a hard drive inside the unit, which maybe you can see, but essentially it doesn't matter. It's just hard drive fixing screws. Now you can use, if you want to, you can use a hard drive in here. You can use an SSD, whatever you want. I did find actually, because of the box being metal and there's no kind of rubber grommets or anything in there, you do find that the noise from a mechanical drive does translate and reverberate around the box itself. Obviously, if you're gonna use an SSD, which you can pick up pretty cheaply now. In fact, there's a, uh, what was it, TC Sunbow are doing a one terabyte SSD at the moment for 60 pounds on Amazon, which uh, you can check out. It's today's kind of special deal. It was on a couple of days ago as well, and they sold out and they've got them all back in again. So if you want one of those, I think Calf's gonna stick a, a link in the chat right now so you can check out for yourselves. But we're gonna use a physical drive on this one, a mechanical drive. This one is only a 320 gig drive, it's just an old drive I had knocking around. But again, it's gonna be absolutely fine for recording footage on the unit. So let's take it apart and stick a drive in and then we'll get it fired up and see how it works. Oh, actually, I suppose we better take a look at the cameras first of all. So the cameras themselves, again, you've seen the picture on the box, so this isn't gonna be any great surprise to you, but they are actually quite nice cameras. There's a little bit of weight to them. So in this kind of nice kind of satin white, on the front, you've got your LEDs for the night vision, all that kind of stuff. You've also got an IR sensor as well, so it can detect what the light sensor is like. And you've got a pretty decent lens on there on the camera. Again, there's a lot of these kind of cameras on the market of varying different qualities. But this one actually seems to be pretty good, so pretty pleased with that. And again, you get these high gain, or I think it's five dB gain antennas, which you just screw onto the back. <laughs> and hopefully it'll stay in place. And on the back, you've got this rubberized or foam grommet. So when you attach it to the wall, that'll seal nicely and keep things all in place. Now, one thing I did notice actually, there isn't an awful lot of adjust, <coughs> excuse me, there isn't an awful lot of adjustment on these. So you can adjust them a little bit, but it's not the typical kind of, uh, is it a gooseneck or kind of ball joint? It's a little bit fiddly to set up actually to get it in the right position. But again, once you've got it in the right position, use your Allen key, tighten up, job done. Now the cable itself comes out, so you've got the power connection on there, which plugs into the supplied power adapter. And also you've got your ethernet adapter as well, or plug, which actually has an activity light on it as well. So if you're trying to do some sort of fault finding or to see if it's actually physically connected, there is actually a little LED on there, which tells you of its indication status. Now, if you're mounting this outside and you can't get this through a hole in the wall and you want to leave the cables outside, they do actually include, if I can find it somewhere, 
Where is it? Ah, there we are. So there is actually a little blanking plug, so you can stick that into the back there. So that connection now is completely watertight, and when you plug in the barrel in there, it's a really nice snug fit. So you can have all of this cable in, just kind of dangling around outside if you wanted to, and you don't have to worry about sort of ingress of water, rust, all that kind of stuff. So there's a the camera, what do you think? I think it looks pretty cool. It's not too bad. It's not really the sort of thing you'd want in a home, if I'm completely honest. It's, it's more of a, it's, it's an external thing rather than an internal thing. Again, you could have it, it doesn't, well, in here it probably doesn't look too out of place, but in some homes, you may not want that kind of facing you from like a living room or something like that. But anyway, that's what it is. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get Calf to go and plug this in in one of the other rooms and then I'm gonna drop the cable. So all of these are factory set up, so literally they just work when you plug them in. So if you, uh, if you could put that in the living room and aim it towards the window or something like that, that would be great, I think. Anywhere, just, plug in yeah, plug in there, yeah, that'd be great. Thank you very much. That is my lovely assistant, Calf. She's gonna be doing a lot of that plugging in, I think, today on this one. So like I said before, you get four of those cameras. So you stick them in four locations. Again, every box is exactly the same, same deal. You get the blanking plates and all that kind of stuff. Let's clear some room up here. So first thing we're gonna do now is we're gonna put the hard drive inside the unit. So to take the unit apart, there's four screws, one there, one there, one there, and one there. So we'll go ahead and do that now. So feel free to uh, talk amongst yourselves while I try and take this off. Again, it's not really a difficult thing to do, it's just a bit time consuming. It would be nice, I think, I'm not sure, I got a feeling they do actually sell a unit which has a hard drive pre-installed on it, but I could be wrong. Again, feel free to check out the links and you can see for yourself. Again, hard drives aren't particularly expensive these days. You can pick up like a two terabyte uh, Western Digital, mechanical drive for around about 50 pounds, 60 pounds if you look around. Which, if you take in consideration the price of this, now I haven't actually touched on the price of this. At the moment, this is on Amazon for 159.99 and there's actually a 20% or no, 20 pound coupon. So like 139 for a home DVR kit. If you take into consideration the cameras are 40 pounds a piece. So that's like 160 there already. So essentially you're getting the control box absolutely free, which is pretty sweet. Uh, Thor Odinson's asking, the camera has a night vision function. Yes, they do have night vision and it's automatic switching, although you can actually change it. So if um, you want it to become night vision at a certain time, so say, um, again, going back to kind of if you've got a garage or something and it's got lights in there and the lights automatically turn off or your business lights turn off at a certain time, you can configure it so the night vision actually comes on at a specified time rather than by actually daylight sensing. Thing. It may be one of those things that is interesting to you, it may not, but there you go. So inside, as you can see, there's not really a great deal going on. You've got the main control unit itself there, you've got a SATA connection for power, and you've got a SATA connection for data. There is a CMOS battery in there, so if you do unplug this when you've got your settings in, um, if you, for some reason in a few years time, you start losing settings or the time isn't keeping it accurately, then you can uh, change your CMOS battery. It's just one of those standard CR2032 batteries. So really nice and easy to do. There isn't a great deal in there. Essentially that is probably a little bit bigger than one of the first Raspberry Pis. So it's not a very big unit, but most of the space is actually taken up by the hard drive itself, which goes into there. So let's get the hard drive installed. So all you do is line up the hard drive with the section there, flip it upside down and stick your screws in. Now from what it looks like on here, you can actually, if you wanted to, you could pre-install two of the screws on one side just to make life a little bit easier. Now magnetic screwdriver is gonna make things even more easy, hopefully. So we'll get one screw in just to hold it in place. So how's everybody Saturday at the moment? It must be pretty boring if you're sat here watching this. You crazy people. Or are you just hoping to see something go wrong, like me not being able to get a screw in? Uh, Captain Meets Adventure just asked, is this instead of later? No, uh, tonight's stream is gonna go ahead as per usual. 
this uh, this is actually Home Vision actually sent me this unit for review quite a while ago, and I've been I've got to be honest, I've been putting it off. I can't I can't lie about it. Literally, I've been putting it off. I've set it up and I've looked at it, and I'll be completely honest with you, it frustrated me because I couldn't get it to fit exactly where I wanted it in the home. And rather than going and buying a couple of extra cables or rearranging things to make it work for me, I just put it back in the box and kind of ignored it a little bit, which I shouldn't have done really because this is actually a really nice little set. And if you're sent stuff for review, you should take a look at it. Even if you don't like it, you should take a look at it. Well, see, I shouldn't say I didn't like it. It didn't fit in with my laziness at the time. But I think for most people, this is actually going to be a really easy plug and play setup. So there we go, we've got our hard drive mounted in there now. So all we've got to do now is plug in the connectors on the back. So again, I think most people, even with a very small amount of technical knowledge, well, if I can do it, anyone can do it. Most people should find this really simple and straightforward to do. And again, if you've got a hard drive sitting around at home doing nothing, then why not? Let's put the screws back in, then we get this powered up. And I'll see. Oh crap. Magnetic screwdriver to the rescue. I see Calf's answered the question. Yeah, this is uh, this is an additional video. And I said it probably a little bit earlier, but the whole reason I'm doing this as a live stream is purely because this is actually quite a kind of long-winded process when you're actually filming it and to do the setup. And the editing actually will take quite a long time. So to be more time effective and to get this done and to actually force me to do it, I set up a live stream so I can just get on and do it. And also I suppose it's interesting to see how people well, how I get on with it, how easy it is to do, because in videos you can edit anything to make things look easy or whatever. So to do it live is uh, yeah, a bit of a challenge as well. So that's our drive installed. So all we've got to do now is power it up. Now I have actually got a, a monitor there. So I'm gonna try and get my webcam over there. And so you can see what's on the screen as I go through the setup. Now to set this up, all we need really is a power supply, which is, which one was it? One, two, three. Actually, I've got a feeling I've given you the wrong power supply there, Calf. Do apologise. Yeah, can you swap over the power supplies? See, schoolboy error straight away gave him Calf the wrong equipment. Ruined the whole thing. Okay. Thank you. Okay. British Noob says, uh, I'm here because, oh no, sorry, that was a letter. I'm here because I don't have anything better to do. Oh, yes, a lot of you are saying that same sort of thing. <laughs> British News says, my, my day's been amazing. And I'm actually not using this video to help me get to sleep. <laughs> oh, dear. News finding it interesting to find out my thoughts. Kev says he's got videos to make, but Mike has convinced me to do some of them live. Yeah, actually doing live videos is actually, it's, it's kind of easier, but it's also a bit more of a, a pain at the same time. Hey, we've got a super chat. Oh, Cap's not here to turn the lights out, Never mind. So Captain Meets Adventures has sent us five pounds on a super chat, and that is for the Forever Roche Ball. And Cap's on it, she's on the lights. Thank oh, thank you. So if you're watching this and you want to set off the uh, the disco ball during the stream, all you've got to do is send a live, uh, what's it called? Super. super chat, that's the one. Send us a super chat and you can light the ball up. If you don't want to send a super chat and you want to help support the channel, we do have a Patreon account or site. So you can uh, go over there and you can donate money if you wish to. Again, if you don't want to, it's entirely up to you. It is uh, completely optional. We do not expect any payments or any kind of, well, we don't expect anything. All we do expect is for you to watch the videos every now and then. And that really does help. 
So going back to what I was doing, so plug it in this system. So we've got an HDMI cable, which is running into the back of our monitor. We've got our Cat5 cable, which is running through into our router or router. And we've also got our power jack. So I'm gonna go ahead and plug those in on the back. So one, two, and three. And you get a little warning bleep to say that it's on. So if I turn the monitor on now, and I'll get the other camera so you can see what's actually on the screen. <laughs> so hopefully, let's see. Uh, which button do I press for the camera? I forget, I always forget, that's number four. Oh great, the camera's not working. <laughs> oh dear, that was a, a picture from earlier. So let's go properties, deactivate. Oh, that's why it's not working. Do bear with us people. I hate this Logitech camera. Amazon is selling them cheap, not surprisingly. Oh, that telltale noise. Oh, do bear with us, people. Right, I'm gonna hit something now. La 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 la. Like I said in the earlier bit, what could possibly go wrong? Hey, I think that's working. As if by magic. Right, so now you can see the screen. Hey, you'll love it when it goes wrong. Uh, let's see. So, there you go. Can you guys make that out okay? Is it all good? Can you see it? All right, let's plug in the USB for the uh, mouse. So this is what you're greeted with when you first start up the system. So you get the, uh, the username. Actually, I only need a mouse mat because this mouse is absolutely horrendous. Oh, oh crap. It's okay, it's all good. Oh, that's better. Right, okay, so when you first get it, username comes up as admin and you get to put a password in. You can, um, the default password when it comes through to you out of the box is gonna be uh, nothing. So you click OK and you can go into. So now we get the setup wizard. So all we need to do now is to use our mobile phone and then we can scan the QR code. So if you've got an uh, iPhone, then you'll find that you can just actually scan it straight from the camera app. If you've got an uh, Android phone, then you may have to uh, see which one is right for you app-wise. So I'm gonna go ahead now and scan this, which hopefully you'll be able to see. So there we go, so it says to open DVR in Safari, so we'll open Safari. And it links you to the IP Pro, which is the VRCAM EC Cloud. So click on Get. And you can see the app has only got 1.7 uh, stars out of five, so that's probably not a good thing. Now actually you can use this with various different IP Pro based systems. So if there is a particular IP camera website or app that you particularly like to use, then you can just go ahead and use that. So, British Noob says, please, Mike, please play some CSGO with that mouse and record it. I might actually do that. I'll give that a go. Do that mouse app thing. Oh yeah, I could do the speed test, couldn't I? 
please play. Right, that's pretty boring. So this is just downloading and I can open it on the phone. So that is open. So basically you go in and you can set up your, um, your account. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna log in with my Google account. So I'm gonna take it off the camera a minute. So we'll log in with Google. Sign in with Google social account. And it's asking, sign in to amazoncognito.com. Email or phone, okay, this is fun. Actually, I don't like the sign of that. I'm not gonna sign in with, with that account. So I'm gonna create actually a new one. So you can put in your email or password. So I'm gonna put in Mike at Mike's Unboxing. Now actually, for any of you that are asking questions or want questions answered, you can send me an email to Mike's Unboxing and I might actually answer it. That's been new. Uh, yeah, Mike at Mike'sUnboxing.com is the email address which Cash just reminded me that I should actually say. Uh, so let's put a password in here. And confirm. Oh, it's saying that I've already done that address. I don't remember that. Must have been for another setup. Sorry about this, I will... Uh, I will sort this out, hopefully. Wrong password, enter again, right, okay. So let's click on register, that'll, do, that'll be better. <laughs> so yeah, click on the register bit and you can see what is actually going on. I don't know if you can hear it, but I can hear that hard drive resonating. Mike at mikesunboxing.com. This name is already registered, damn you. First of all, problems. Right, let's choose another account. Uh, that's blue yonder. Talk amongst yourselves. This is all going to go very, very well in a minute. Now, it'll be worth sticking around to see what the camera actually looks like. So, you put in your user details. I should have done this beforehand, really, to uh, speed out the process, but what the heck. So, email address. Right, so now, oh, actually it doesn't matter. So, as you can see there, so it's done that. So it's sending me a password to my uh, email or verification code. So, Kaf, could you have a look on my computer there and see what the Which code? Uh, M. Churchill. Did the other active? Yeah, I <laughs> know, yeah, what I after. Hey ho. A letter says, can it play crisis? Possibly, maybe. <laughs> British News says, so much better than watching a normal video. It's been a laugh for me. Yeah, it's, uh, these things never go easily. And again, this is why I want to do it as a live stream rather than doing it as a pre-recorded because when you do the pre-recorded, you don't see all these kind of little bits and pieces which can be a real pain in the backside. And you see a lot of uh, reviewers, oh yeah, this, 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 this is so easy, just put your username and password in. But generally it isn't. Is it coming through yet, Kev? No, Google's for you, the last one at 1338. Right, let's get them to send it again. Right, verification code should have been sent again now. It'd be just my luck, the servers are down or something, so I can't actually get into it, that'd be great. Yay, this is great. It's not going to spam, has it? Right, let's switch back to my other camera a minute. 
So, as you can see, this is uh, one of those typical things which you're going to possibly encounter when you set one of these things up. Ah, dear. So, yeah, we're, so at the moment we're waiting for a uh, an authentication password or something like that to actually get into the system. Which again is one of those things which can be very problematic and if it's not coming through to... Uh, actually, let's go and see if it's come through on my other email account for some reason. Uh, Mike's unboxing. No, so <laughs> we're, at this point we're absolutely screwed. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through and do the next part of this setup on the screen. And uh, yeah, what else? Uh, so let's switch back to the other camera. So next part of it is the Wi-Fi setup. So Wi-Fi channel, uh, we've got, you can choose which channel you want to. So I'm going to go for channel 11 and the region is EU. Uh, and it's now going to go through the system and see which is the best of the wireless channels to do. So it's actually got a little bit of an intelligence in the router, or it's a built-in one. So if there's a lot of other network congestion on channel 11, it'll try and find a better one. It looks like it's already changing it to 13, so let's see what happens. So set up successfully. So oh, I've gone to 13. Uh, I'll do, so next. Please confirm, yes it does. So this is where you set up your time zone. So we're in the UK, so we are uh, GMT at the moment. And the date is the 23rd, that's right, and 1444, which actually that sounds pretty good. So sync time, so that'll sync with the server. Uh, yeah, I think that's all good. Actually, previous. Oh, it's testing the land, damn. Go back. So now what it's doing is uh, detecting your network and you can see the cloud IP, so yeah, whatever. Chances are probably someone can hack it from that, but whatever. I'm not particularly bothered. So there we go, that's our hard disk. So the Western Digital is a 320 gig, it's formatted, etc. If you wanted to here, you can click on format and it will format the drive, but we won't do that, it's all done. Actually saying that, yeah, let's format it, see how long that takes. You'd think it wouldn't take very long, but we'll see. It shouldn't take very long. You can hear it whirring away. Again, if you've got a, a larger hard drive in there, it's going to take a lot, lot longer. So bear that in mind. Ah, oh, spilt my tea. Right, so format succeeded. So we'll click on done and save in the configuration. So now it's got all the information on there. And did you turn that camera on, the other one? I don't know, I had to. Oh, I yeah, sorry. Did you? I've turned the plug socket on. Oh, because it's not come on yet. Have I got to turn the actual camera on? No, it should just turn itself on. Just make sure that barrel connector is pushed all the way in. So there we go, there is our first actual issue. So the first camera hasn't, uh, hasn't picked up. So what I'm going to do is, let's get another camera out. And we'll go through again. Oh, I heard the click of the, the, uh, the switch from in here. So in theory, that should work now. Although saying that, I wonder if you actually have to turn the device off and then turn it back on again. Not too sure. All right, let's get another camera. And we'll try plugging that in and see if that comes up. Yeah, that, um, that calf, when you push it in, it's got a Real hard click. Did it do that? Right, I'm gonna go and try and plug another camera in here. Happy days are here again. Oh no, I can't do it because my microphone. Right, let's disconnect my microphone.
This is where it all goes wrong, isn't it? This is what you tuned in for, people. Has that one come on yet? No. <laughs> oh dear. So we still. Oh crap, I've got a microphone on. Right, Cav. Grab that one. Yeah. Just connect it up and plug it in upstairs. Leave it in the hallway or something. Oh dear. Um, yeah, anywhere really. Right, I'm going to turn this off and connect it back up again and see if it then picks it up. There's no power. No power? You've got no power box, do Oh, what? Um, system initializing. Actually, where's Kev? Is he? Kev's in here. Did yours do this, Kev? Thank you. So, as you can see now, the system is initializing. Hopefully, it's going to pick up a camera now. I hope so. Right, maybe I've done something completely wrong. Right, it's still waiting, and I've now got no mouse input. Oh, system is, no, system is initializing, please wait. Configure a network. Username and password. Next. Well, maybe I can't do anything until it's actually registered the cameras. So IP cam preview. Ah, so that's picking up something. So that is seeing it. Activation code, is that the one? Yeah. EC code. So no video source, no video source. Let's refresh those. That one? Hmm? Activation code. Oh, yeah. Right, we've got an activation code now, so maybe we can get this working. Uh, where are we? Oh, damn it. I think I just closed the app. Huh. Right, I'm going to go through the setup again. Oh, actually, it's picked up another one now. So why is that protocol ID? Oh yeah, because it's given them bizarre IP addresses. Come on. Go on, you can do it. Ah, right, so now, hey, there we go. <laughs> so, there we go, we've got some actual footage on the screen. What is it? Which so, is it? that is the living room there, which, actually, can you turn the lights on in there so you can see it, and then we'll put the camera up straight and just have a look at flame oh, or something. So, that is the, uh, the floor. <laughs> that is the living room there. Actually, that's not focused particularly well, is it? Can you see that? Uh, 
There we go. I think that's focusing a bit better now. There we go. Sorry about the angle of the camera. So there we go. You can see the cameras put, put, coming through and you can see that's our living room and you can see our little cat who's asleep on the chair. And that is, I think that's, up, that's in the corridor. So I'm gonna, Kath, can you turn on the hallway light please? Ah oh dear, this is going well. <laughs> there we go, so you can see there's our, our carpet, which, uh, you can't see very well. so unfortunately the car this uh, isn't the greatest of webcams for doing this, but you get a general idea. So there is the living room you can see, and there is the hallway, which you can now see in colour, whereas previously you could only see it in black and white because it was, well, it was dark. So the night vision was kicking in. Oh dear Lord. Right, let's go back to camera two. So there we go, that is the system. Now let's see if we can, I'm sorry, I would have loved to have got this set up properly with the app and everything, but due to technical difficulties, as per usual, um, things have gone a bit peaked on. So let's do a setup wizard again, and I'll see if I can get this to work properly this time, just so you can see it working in the app. So I think really I should, uh, I should show that. So open that after scanning it, open up the DVR and we've already got it downloaded so we can open that. And let's put in the username or the email. So we want to register. So mtrinitial, that's me, hat. So hopefully now, if uh, Home Vision contact me and say, Mike, why have you not done the video sooner? This is the reason why. So what was the activation code? I'm gonna have to have a look over now. So two, six, eight, and password, put a password in. Kev said the system is hackable if you don't change the admin password. Yeah, that's actually a, a good shout. Kev says that the, um, So, because I left it too long for verification code now, it's timed out, so I've got to wait another 30 seconds before I can get another verification code, unless they've sent another one, which I can't see. Let's have a look. No, 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 delete, delete, delete. No, we're gonna have to wait for another authentication code. What a pain in the backside. Oh, can he? <laughs> yeah, so currently at the moment, as it stands, the, the cameras are wide open, so you can actually get into them quite easily. So if you want to actually see the picture on the screen for yourself, you can do. Let's get another verification code. And hopefully this will come through quickly. So actually, where was the... You get the general idea. So come on, where is it? Come on, email. Don't let me down. Nope, it's not coming through. That's been a, that has been an absolute pain in the butt. But again, you can see what it does, I think, hopefully. You can't really see it from there. So again, oh, vibrations. So you can see what is on there. Normally you get four cameras on there. And if you go into uh, split screen, you can do one X view, so you can do camera one. So if you just want to see that camera, you can do that and split screen, 1x, so you can choose that camera. And what you can do actually, because it's got a VJ and a, oh, there's a little pussycat. You see the pussycat? <laughs> there, <coughs> there he is. 
So what you can do, because it's got two outputs on it, so you can output one to HDMI and then you can run a long VGA cable to somewhere else. So you could have two monitors displaying. So on one of them, um, you could have, say, the four screens or you could have a duplicate view. So that's cameras one to four. And then you could have a split screen, so you could have the other two on there. So you can have all the cameras. Let's go back to system setup. Actually, cancel. Where is it? Da -da -da. System setup. System admin. So user. So in this section, you can set up users and admins and all that. So let's set a password. So no password. So actually, I'll move that away from there so you can't see it. Cap's getting paranoid now that you can see her, but you can't, can you? Bloody hell, the passwords didn't match. <laughs> oh, this is horrendous. I really need a keyboard and mouse for this. Right, there we go. So we set up the password now. Oh dear, so okay. Let's go back to where are we? Sorry, Calf. It's a delay. I can't help it. <laughs> so if you want to, you can do Wi-Fi ads. So if you've got more cameras, you can click on Wi-Fi ad and you can get it to scan all those kinds of things. Uh, so you search in and add an IPC. While we're doing that, we'll exit that. Let's get split screen. Let's go back to the four times view. So that's your normal view. And in uh, video playback. So this is our playback section now. So you can go through and you can scan along the, uh, the timeline. You can watch recordings, all that kind of stuff. You can set it so it's motion, alarm, times, blah, 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 all that kind of stuff. Uh, you can run a backup. There's loads of different things you can do there. It's like really, really kind of not complicated, but you can see at the moment hopefully the currently is recording so you've got the red bits there so that time bar is moving along slowly so it's recording let's exit out of there and back to it and flame is uh, licking himself let's go back to camera two so there you go you get you get the idea so essentially it's a four camera setup works on wi-fi eventually now, I think the problem is uh, in complete sort of transparency because I've actually set this up before and then done a factory reset. I think I've registered the account that I'm trying to use previously. So that's where my real problem is. Obviously, if you're doing this for the first time, you're not gonna have those kind of problems. It's gonna be absolutely fine. Um, I think that's pretty much it, guys and girls. I don't think, has anyone got any questions that I could possibly answer? I probably doubt it, but you never know. Oh, there's a bit of vibration there. But essentially for what it is for what, $139.99 for a four camera setup, for the system itself, it's actually a pretty good value for money. I've got various other systems from uh, Nui, Heim Vision, all those kinds of things. And actually, oh, I've got a mail activation code. So copy, hopefully that'll work now. Sorry, I've gone off topic again. So verification code, and paste that into there. Confirm, is that gonna work now? Fingers crossed. 
It says it's doing something. Yeah, 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 got tick boxes. So it's doing something now. So notification. Okay, easy cable light to use Bluetooth. Uh, don't allow that. And there we go. So kit, choose device, that's that one there. And putting a device password, which I'm trying not to mouth as I do this. <laughs> it says I got the wrong password. It's not the wrong password, I just made it up. This is ridiculous. Wrong password. Right, let's do a scan. And scan device name. Input device password. So device password. This is horrendous. Confirm. That's why our arms rest on it, it's making it do things. All right, this is scanning now, so hopefully it should add it to the phone. Device added successfully. Fantastic. So if I click on play there now. There we go. So let's put it on to number four. And hopefully you can see that now. So on my device now, you can see I've got a representation of what is on the screen. I actually got it to work. So it says on the bottom two, there's no video because obviously I haven't got the other two cameras connected. And hopefully I think I can, can I change that? Yeah, I should be able to change that, I think. I've not used this a great deal. Ah, there we go. So. Turn that around, and there we go. You can see a widescreen version of my carpet, which again is a, you can see there. What about the cat? Is that what someone wanted to see to the cat? No, maybe. Just you? Mm -hmm. Okay. And actually that's pretty cool. So on the actual app, you can just scroll through so no video, obviously we've got these two cameras which aren't connected. But there you go, you can see what's going on. And if you want to, then you can record it in the app. So on the bottom there, you've got screenshot, you can have sound, recording, all those kinds of usual things that you expect to see with these kinds of cameras. And there we go. Well, it's difficult to see, but there we go. And there's our cat licking himself. He's very happy. Is there's a delay calf I did? So there we go. That's actually a really nice clear image, considering this is only an iPhone XR, which is not a particularly great screen. That actually is a pretty good image. He's going to hula hoop in a minute. Yeah, flame will hula hoop shortly. Right, Calf's giving me a challenge now, so I've got to go in and do some hula hooping. So, can you actually see it? Oh crap. You have to hold the camera, Calf. Right, I'm going to go and do some hula hooping in a minute. Calf has laid down a challenge.
Yep. Can't see your head. Could be a stunt bubble because we can't see your head. Oh, bloody hell, there's cables everywhere. Right there, so you get the general idea. I've made a right pig's ear of this review and unboxing, but I've eventually got it to, um, <laughs> eventually got it to go. So I think that pretty much wraps up the video. Now, obviously my presentation skills of this haven't been particularly great. Um, I would strongly, strongly suggest you to go and uh, check out Kev's video, Click Tech UK. He did a much, much better job than I did. But at least with this, you can see some of the potential pitfalls and things that you can go through. Actually, I think it's a really fun piece of kit and it's certainly well worth the money. I, um, although it's a slightly traumatic setup experience, especially if you're doing it live on camera. But other than that, it's actually a pretty decent little unit. And if you can find somewhere to put it and you've got a, a place and you've got room for the cameras. But I was actually planning to do one camera at the back of the house or maybe two cameras at the back of the house one at the front but we got brick walls so the uh, the transmission wasn't particularly great so I'd have had to have this unit somewhere kind of in the middle of the house to get the system to kind of bounce forward and back or put some cables in and to be honest with you I wasn't prepared to put a cable in just to do this review but after seeing this and having a bit more of a play with it I may actually be tempted to do that because it is actually a pretty decent bit of kit and actually for keeping an eye on things when I'm out at work or out doing things it's pretty useful I think it's, uh, again, it's one of those things, people see cameras on the outside of your house, it will always give them that kind of deterrent of not trying to break into your house or not do any vandalism or graffiti or whatever it may be. Again, depending on where you live, like where we live, our front driveway is like right on the roadside, so it's quite easy for people to come along and do stuff to your car or try and steal your car. But at least with a the camera there, and especially with the LEDs when it's on night vision, it's that deterrent to people will be like, okay, we'll just move on to the next one. But anyway, there we go. Hopefully you've uh, you've done you've done. Hopefully you've found this moderately entertaining. Um, Captain Meets Adventures. I shall go through some of the questions and answers here. So um, Alessa says, "Cute kitty." Yeah, that flame is a uh, he is pretty cute. That's a compliment coming from Alessa. And uh, yeah, considering Alessa is a dog lover, that's a compliment indeed. So British Noob says, "Hello, Calf. I can see you." <laughs> And Captain Meets Adventures says, might get pissed later. And after this, I think I definitely will do. So for those of you that are regular viewers to the channel, we'll still be doing our regular 9 o'clock stream. So once I've packed all this away, we'll uh, we'll go on to business as usual when our later on stream. <laughs> uh, Angry Dodge says, hello to Calf. It's doggy. Oh, Angry Doggy. Sorry, my bad. Get us this swing those hips, big boy. And that says, wow, worth the price of the admission. Oh, dear. The things I do. Uh, Angry Dog says, at Mike's Unboxing Reviews now too, I'm looking to buy the Arctic P12 value pack on Amazon for 20 quid. That's a good idea. And if you do, make sure you use our affiliate link so we get a little bit of a kickback. Uh, we will be talking about tech stuff later on in tonight's stream, so all this stuff is going to disappear, and we're going to get back to what we're talking about normally. Now, I'm surprised nobody has actually noticed yet what is uh, behind me. So you'll probably notice that the uh, the Inwin 101C has made a reappearance. Now the other PC case that we had, which was the uh, Be Quiet 500, I've actually taken that as being my own rig for the time being. And I actually I really like the look of that in the background for this for videos. So anyway, that's why it's there. Uh, there is other reasons for it. So if you want to know what the reasons are for that, you can check out our videos. And there's some other ones which are going to be released, which haven't been released yet. And you'll see what's been going on. Um, yeah, I think that is uh, that is pretty much it. So anyway, Aletta has cats as well. They boss the dogs. <laughs> right, Aletta says she has cats too. They boss the dogs around. Yeah, cats do that, don't they? They do tend to rule the roost. Uh, British Noob says, "Is this because of ABC, Mike?" Um, I'm not too sure what you mean by that, Mister Noob. ABC. I don't get that. Hmm? Oh right, okay, yeah, actually no, I do get I do get I know the boom, the penny just dropped, yeah. Yeah, security cameras to um yeah, 
I see what you mean now. <laughs> no, I, I don't think uh, I don't think that is necessary. There's some uh, there are some strange people in this world, so you do have to uh, to look out. Uh, Angry Dodge, best thing to do, or Doggy, Angry Doggy. If you want some advice on PC stuff, either tune in tonight on the stream at nine o'clock, or jump over to our Discord server. Kath will put a link in there now, and then you can ask all the questions. I will be after the stream is over. I'll be jumping. Well. I'll be going on to the voice chat on our Discord while I pack all this stuff away. So if you want to have a chat with me after the stream, you are very welcome to do so. And you can meet some of our other cool people like uh, the infamous British noob, Kev from ClickTech may well be on. We've got Seam at Night and a few others as well, uh, Glenn. Those that aren't working or hiding or being hungover will possibly be in the chat. So. If you want to come over and have a chat, you're more than welcome to do so. Well, I think this pretty much wraps up this video. I've made a right pig's ear of it, and hopefully a home vision aren't going to be too pissed at me for doing what I've done. But anyway, they wanted a video made. I've made the video. You've seen what the pitfalls and potential benefits are, so you make it your own mind. So again, if you want to buy this, the links will be in the description below, and all the affiliate links do help the channel. So there we go. That is pretty much it. I think uh, that is pretty much all. Thanks all of you for watching and putting up with my... Uh, antics and hopefully we'll see you again later on tonight at 9 p.m catch you all later actually what's the what do i normally say oh yeah i've been mike this is mike's unboxing reviews and night too and hopefully we'll catch you in the next video thanks for watching